So this is one of the smallest mice you can get. It's wireless, got a good polling rate. This is Kcron M4. And today we're going to take it apart and see exactly how it's made and all the components inside. So I'm Billy Bob, been gaming for over 35 years, well into peripherals like mice keyboards, love taking them apart and seeing how they're built, love to show you the quality or not so quality in some cases and get that extra bit of detail. If you like games like Valorant as well and Tarkov, I stream and game those as well. So that's for you. This is definitely the channel you want to watch. Time to take this apart. A little bit higher than you think. So maybe a mil higher than normal. And we like eight mil, seven mil. So. Slightly different thicknesses, this game. And good news, the front one doesn't have a screw, only one in the rear, and even better, it's a standard screwdriver. Yeah! Get a bonus point for that. This label looks expensive and large. Pointless. I feel like we can just take this off and save half a gram. Particularly clean. Whoops. Beast of a battery. Damn, Sam. That's definitely where the weight is. Let's look at the main shell. First thing I like: no plastic rivets. It's a bonus. You could do, you could actually save weight by not having the LED that big and like a screw. If they're looking to save a little bit of weight, I'll straight off the back of the manufacturing. Some of these massive fins. Like maybe that's to stop the flex on the top. But you know, you can like, I mean. We said they were thin, these uh, mains, you can see that. And that does play into it. And there's a certain limit of how thin you can make main switches because you get this, this flex and that is easy to feel when you're pressing it. So you've got to be careful how thin they make these. One of the reasons why we, when I mod them, I don't tend to chop out too much because I think you can feel it. So the, the one and a half grams, they're quite thin them. Lightweight half a gram. That's pretty much leaves the main shell. Seven point about eight grams. You could have done what a razor's done here and thin the cable out. I thought it'd save a bit of weight as well in the connector. It's a beast of a battery for a, uh, a little uh, mouse. Didn't seem to affect the weight that much, but it certainly made it put the weight back a little bit. You could. I mean, you could change the battery in it if you wanted to try and help the weight. That's a pretty heavy, seven grams nearly a battery there. It's Hawanu. Yeah, Hawanu uh, micro switches. Everybody's using these side buttons at the minute. I just want full size switches back. I'm all about weight reduction, but I think there's a certain point where we have to accept certain things do sacrifice. Like, uh, but putting micro switches is the main soon if we're not careful. Do you know what I mean? Weird sticker holding for the to raise the uh, battery up. It's 
screws here. One, two, three, four, and a couple on the front as well. They're kind of like dual PCB this. So let's have a look. A little connector here for both PCBs to hold together. It's a bit of a weird design, this PCB, the way they built this. Careful that you don't damage it, taking those pins out. Oops. It's got a power button on it. Mm -hmm. Got the user in here, MCU and stuff. So it's using the Nordic. N52840, nice. MCU. And they've also branded it the K Cron 3395. <laughs> I understand why people uh, basically got the same sense, but they call their own firmware, I guess. I don't know. Like Razor have always been doing it. Pretty well built this uh, K Cron, to be fair. Five and a half grams. Cut the power button. Same screw. Look how small that is. It's micro. Huh? There's a G Pro Superlight next to it. <laughs> that is the smallest scroll wheel I think I've seen in my life. Get the weight on this bad boy. It's got to be one gram at least. Oh, look at that. Can it be one G? You're not going to find a rubber replacement for this scroll wheel. <laughs> I mean. Scroll wheel, you never find a replacement though. There is no replacement scroll wheel I've seen that will fit into that. So we've got the Hiranu pink shell, look at this one. Hiranu pink translucent shell actually, pink dots. It's probably my favorite Hiranu switch. I definitely prefer the pink dots. I prefer the blue shell pink dots. These are a bit better. Combo cut I prefer these over Japanese Omron or something though. Look at this, this. I think it's a K Swift. Oh, it's hard to tell. I think it's the F switch, is it? Sorry, not K Swift. Your trainers. I think it's an F switch brown. I'll tell them. Eight mil encoder if you were to swap it. Pretty common size. It's a note. So four grams. What's PCB total weight? Oh, of course. Nine. So that's quite a heavy PCB that. You put it together. Most of them are not that heavy. The fact there's no plastic rivets in this. I thought maybe they were riveted the uh, buttons at the back. Power of uh, pole and DPI, but they're not nice. There we go. K Cron is taken apart. Oops. What do I think of the K-Cron M4? I quite like it. I think it's well built. This is very well built for the kind of style of mouse. It's fingertip. I think it's a little bit small for me in terms of thin. It's quite thin. Could do with thickening the mains in terms of the uh, main buttons a bit thin so they get a bit of flex. Therefore, make it a little bit more mushy. But overall, built well. So do some nice escapes and a bit cheap. But that, I really can't fault it. I mean, battery is quite big, but I can see why they've done that. If you probably want a slightly smaller battery, maybe you can drop it to a 250 or 200 milliamp. Doesn't need to be that, it's only a thousand pole and 300 milliamps is pretty big. Maybe some firmware upgrades. I think the 3395 has some better updates now for battery life, so I like the way the boot is a bit more pushed out on it, but overall good. It's well built, probably the best fingertip mouse I've seen around. The MZ MK2 is good, but it doesn't have side buttons, so this is the one that's probably best wireless and it's got side buttons. And they're easy to access the side buttons, sometimes a bit difficult on fingertip. But 
Ich glaube, alles so.